I'm not a fan of Pringles. I'm going to say that right now. If you've been on this page long enough, you know I do not like these little um, <sighs> chips. They're not even chips. They're like they're defined as like crisps. They're crisps, but they 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 have history. Folks go absolutely crazy over them. I don't get it, but maybe I can find out the history of it, and then maybe I'll get it. Folks, this is the history and review of Pringles. Join me on this journey and watch me cringe eating this. Pringles Newfangled Potato Chips. Our tale begins in the late 1960s when a team of ingenious food scientists at Procter & Gamble set out to create a new kind of potato chip. One that would stay fresh longer, resist breakage, <laughs> Sure. I don't believe it. And have a uniform shape. And so the Pringles journey began. How do you do it, Mr. Pringle? We make our Pringles the new After Pringles. extensive research and development, the team discovered a way to process and mold potato dough into a settle shaped chip. Pringles are crafted from a blend of potato flakes, corn, and wheat starch. This unique recipe gives them their distinctive taste and texture. Once you've tried Pringles, other potato chips just don't stack up. This innovative design allowed the chips to stack neatly inside the iconic Pringles can, ensuring their protection and keeping them intact. It's true, though. In 1968, Pringles made their grand debut in the market. People marveled at the perfect uniform shape of each chip, unlike anything they had seen before. I've never seen so many perfect-looking chips. Beautiful. The Pringles can, with its distinctive cylindrical shape, became an icon on supermarket shelves. Due to their unique production process and shape, they were initially marketed as Pringles Newfangled Potato Chips. Pringles Newfangled Potato Chips. However, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration deemed the term potato chips could only be used for products made from real sliced potatoes. So Pringles had to drop the potato chips label. Over the years, Pringles extended their flavors to cater to every changing taste preference of the snack enthusiasts from the classic flavors like original and sour cream and onion to bold and unique varieties like barbecue, cheddar cheese, and even pizza, Pringles has consistently delighted our taste buds. In the early 2000s, Pringles launched a memorable marketing campaign featuring the slogan, Once You Pop, You Can't Stop. Once you open a can of Pringles, it's hard to resist their addictive crunch and irresistible flavors. But Pringles didn't stop at just potato chips or crisps. In recent years, they've ventured into exciting new territories with flavors inspired by other snack varieties. Try the new intense taste experience. They introduced Pringles sticks, crispy breadsticks with flavors like pizza and honey butter, as well as Pringles tortilla chips. Pringles. Today, Pringles can be found in over 140 countries, satisfying cravings and bringing joy to snack lovers worldwide. Their popularity continues to soar as new flavors and limited edition releases capture the imagination of snack enthusiasts everywhere. Thank you, Mr. Pringle. Thank you for liking them. So the next time you pop open a can of Pringles and savor the delightful crunch, remember the innovative minds and creative journey that brought these addictive chips into our lives. Pringles New Bangled Potato Chips. I guess it's time, right? My biggest gripe is that they 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 are rarely in uh, in in good condition. When you open the container for it to come in like an entire like like again just all this packaging, all this protection doesn't protect it. Rarely, like you know what I mean. And here I am eating my words. Before this day, I have never opened up a can of Pringles and the top layer um, has been fully intact. And it looks like almost the entire damn thing is intact. They they saw me coming. They knew what I was going to do. They knew I was going to ride that ass. They knew I was going to ride that ass if I would have opened up these things and they would have been crumbled up. Just an unsettling kind of texture across the surface, right? But here we are. I mean, they're inoffensive as a chip, right? But to their detriment, there's nothing unique about these except for like the texture once you get it all chewed up. And of course, like the packaging, right? But then on the other hand, I can see the addicting part of it. Like I would never buy these, except for this video. Of course, I bought these, but like I would never just, mm, I'm craving some Pringles. Let me go and grab a container of these. But if they're just, in, if they just magically appear in my house, I'd probably down a 10 of them. 
And it's not just because I have like the plain flavor, the original flavor, because even plain Lay's has a little bit of mm, about them. Plain Ruffles have a little bit of je ne sais quoi, right? These are just, again, the only unique trait is that they they legit feel like mashed potatoes in your mouth when you get them all chewed up, right? They're more satisfying the more you chew. They have to be down to a putty in order for me to enjoy them. But that's just me, of course. I'm I'm just one human. I'm just one um, big, big black guy. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite chip? Are Pringles up there with your top three chip? Let me know in the comments what your top three favorite chips are. And let me, I might cover them. I might talk about them. Folks, click some goofy stuff around my head. I've been me. You continue to be you. And I will see you soon.